Bob Store is closing a number of locations here in the state. A company that started in Connecticut decades ago. News 8's LaSalle Blanks is live in News 8 Control with the details on that. LaSalle? Yeah, hey guys. No one from Bob's headquarters in Meriden is talking today, but these papers filed by Bob's parent company in bankruptcy court speak volumes. And for the people who've come to love and rely on Bob's in nine different locations across Connecticut, these papers mark what looks like an end of an era. Bob's has seen brighter days, and to Susan Kenny, this is a sad day because her favorite Bob store, the one in Middletown, is on the closings list. Well, we're not very happy about it. She's been coming here for over 30 years. And they have great buys on sneakers, Levi jeans. She says it's... An era has passed. Debbie Shapiro is the executive director of the Middlesex County Historical Society. For her, Bob's isn't just about getting good bargains. She says it's been the fabric of the community. The very first Bob's store opened in Middletown in 1954. It's right here. She was friends with Bob, who founded the stores. He became a local legend. Bob Lapidus came to Middletown. He was a Korean War veteran, and uh, he started his store. Uh, the first year was called the Gob Shop. He actually lived in the store, above the store at, at first. It was a place where families did more than just shop. I remember when my daughter was an infant, uh, he had Dr. J come uh, because Dr. J was the spokesperson for uh, Converse All-Stars. So we went down and, and took her along, held her up so we could get a picture of her with Dr. J. Speaking of pictures, that's what Debbie showed us today, a trip down Bob's and Middletown's memory lane. What's happening to Bob's now is happening to many other stores across the country. Quinnipiac professor David Cadden says it's a reflection of today's modern economy. It's estimated that 3,500 stores may close in the first six months of 2017. Last month, they gave an indication of nearly 35,000 retail jobs were lost in this economy. It is a sign that the old model of retailing that we've been used to is either going to have to change or will suffer consequences in employment. And we'll have the complete list of Bob stores in jeopardy on WTNH.com a little later tonight. Remember, we're talking about nine Bob stores across Connecticut. That's at least hundreds of workers. No word yet when those stores will close. LaSalle Blanks reporting from News 8 Control.